Hey guys, what's up? Today's video is going to be a vlog style video because I am just getting shit done today, pretty much. I am doing a massive makeup declutter. I've had enough. It sounds like I'm spoiled. I'm totally not. Like, I appreciate everything I get. It's just that at the moment, everything is just everywhere. It's not that I don't have anywhere to put it. It's that I don't have a good organization system for it. So I don't have anywhere to put it that makes sense so that I know that's where it is when I go to reach for it. Um, and I also just have so much stuff that one person can't possibly possibly use. So I'm going to go through a lot of stuff today. I'm probably going to chuck some stuff out. I'm probably going to donate some things and I might even put some stuff aside for a giveaway. It's just too much for little old me. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take you guys along with me and yeah, we're just going to declutter, organize, do some cleaning. I'm adulting today. That's what ha that's what's happening. <laughs> The other super exciting thing is I got some stuff from Vanity Collections. You guys know how much I love Vanity Collections and they honestly make my life so much easier. So, so much easier. So I'm going to take you guys through stuff that I got from Vanity Collections and hopefully that will help me get my shit organized. So let me show you what I'm kind of talking about here because yeah, I just have to show you. So here is my little vanity all set up. All my lights and cameras are all around here. Um, yeah, I just, I need to do a bit of a clean. I definitely need to clean this mirror. Look how dirty it is. It's got dust all over it. I had a bit of a makeup explosion yesterday. So that's also why it's so dirty. Like there's like, I don't even know what that is. Ew. So I'm going to clean this down, clean the mirror. Um, these are some brushes that I have to clean, so I will be cleaning these later. Um, but I'll put them off to the side for now because that's going to take me a really long time. Um, and then I'm going to open these up with you. This is what I got from Vanity Collections. I'm so excited because my drawers honestly just look like a hot mess right now. Like, you open them and it's just like, I don't know, it's just a mess. Like, it doesn't make sense. It's just, you know, eh. You guys may also have seen that Vanity Collections hooked me up with one of their lipstick inserts. How amazing does this look like? This is the organization level I want to achieve today, but everywhere else. Like, I, I'm just a mess at the moment, you guys. Like, look, I've just got all this stuff on the ground here. I don't know what this stuff is doing. I'm honestly not even sure if I've opened these. I must have. I think those two are empty, but I don't know what's in that one. There's a packing peanut over there. Don't judge me. What is this? Oh, I've been looking for that. Over here is another Vanity Collections insert. Oh, isn't that just like so much better? So much more organized, beautiful. And then my other drawers are just like, ee! <laughs> yikes. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just get into it. I'm gonna start going through stuff. I'm gonna pull a whole lot of stuff out. Then I'm gonna see what's in my Vanity Collections so that once I've got everything out and I know what I'm keeping, I can pop them back in the drawers in an organized manner. So I've just wiped everything down. The mirror is so much cleaner than it was before. I can actually use it now. <laughs> um, and yeah, look, my bench is so shiny and clean. So good. Okay, now I'm gonna get through some of these drawers. I think what the best way for me to do this is to just take everything out. So, oh God. All right, so I just go. went and got these two boxes. Um, I'm going to make the white box everything that I'm ditching. And then the black box can be everything that I'm going to keep. Um, and that way I can just keep track of what I need to put back in the drawer. And then what I need to organize to donate or to put in a giveaway. So that's probably the best way to do this.
Okay, I've done the very first draw. Oh my God. I feel like I've ditched a lot of stuff, but you know what? That was kind of the point of this exercise and I'm trying to be quite ruthless with what I decide to keep and what I decide to chuck because at the end of the day, if I'm not gonna use it, it's just sitting around waste of space for me. Um, and if I can give it to someone who's actually going to love and use it, then hey, that's a win for me. So this is, <sighs> This is the box of stuff that I'm going to be keeping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back into the drawer. Then hopefully um, my vanity collections can help us sort this out a little bit later. But we've got a lot of, more, but we've got a lot more drawers to go through. So we'll just see how I go. Um, obviously, you guys probably have seen I've kept some of my favorites. Looking in here already, you would probably be like, yes, of course, Chelsea will keep these. Like my Huda Beauty palettes, Obsessions palettes, I love my benefit pencil love modern renaissance palette love it things like tarte blush i've never actually tried this but i love tarte and i love their blushes and um it's always just good to have a backup so i've got that there's a couple of other things in here that i haven't used but i know that i will use them for me i don't like to open things if i have a similar product or the same product already open that i use just because I feel like it's really wasteful to keep opening things, especially if I feel like they're going to go off. So stuff in here, like at the moment I'm using a NYX contour stick. Um, this is just a backup that I have, so I just want to keep it unused until I need to open it. Things like sponges as well. I always keep sponges. I feel like you can never have too many sponges. Um, and yeah, I've got a few lip glosses and things in here to try. I love lip gloss at the moment. Obsessed. So yeah, that's that for the keep pile. This is everything that I'm going to be ditching, so I'm either going to donate it or give it away or just pass it on to some friends or family. Um, nothing wrong with any of these products, I just don't reach for them enough and some of them I have never opened. Um, there's also... You guys may have also seen me pop this in it. It is a Too Faced brush collection. So gorgeous, so beautiful. I just have so many brushes. So I feel like something this beautiful needs to go to a good loving home. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna keep this for a giveaway. So keep your eyes out. It is part of their Christmas collection, but hey, still gorgeous. Moving on to the next drawers. <laughs> Okay, so this next drawer is my Too Faced drawer. So this is gonna be really hard to sort through, but I just have to do it. Um, some of this stuff just sits in here unused and it's not because I don't want to use it. It's just because, I mean, look at it. It's a bit of a mess. It's hard for me to see what I've got and what to try. So I think what I'm gonna do is just tip everything out. If there's something in here that I know I absolutely will not use, like either it's not my color or it's not a type of product that I typically use, um, I'll put it in a giveaway box and then oh see God damn I like things like this I've been looking for but I just it's because the draw's so messy I just don't reach for it so I'm gonna tip everything out and then we'll go through it and see what we got and then again um, I've got the white box which is everything I'm giving away and then I've got the black box which is stuff that I am going to keep the white box is now empty again <laughs> so White is everything I'm giving away, and then the black box is everything that I'm keeping. So straight away, this is empty. So I can probably recycle that. Born This Way Foundation, one of my absolute favorites. This is the new Born This Way Concealer. Again, freaking love them, absolutely keeping. Okay, so this time I have a lot in the keep box and then um, the giveaway box is a little bit empty. And that's because honestly, I love Too Faced so much, but the point of this exercise was actually really great because I've noticed things like this is their lip scrub. I should probably not keep it in a drawer because then I won't remember that I have it. I'm gonna pop this in the bathroom just so that it's more accessible when I actually want to use it. I was also going through everything and I noticed that I have a lot of the same product but in different colors or in different sizes so i put some stuff away for a giveaway um for example i've got like this little miniature i think i probably got this from 
This is the um, face primer, the hangover primer, which is super popular, but I have a full size one, so I really probably don't need a miniature one. I mean, maybe if I travel, but I'd probably prefer to give it away to one of you guys. So I'm going to pop that in here. I've also got the Too Faced liquid eyeshadows. Now I freaking love liquid eyeshadows. I do not want to part with it, but it is in blue and I don't normally wear blue eyeshadow. So I've kept other colors like this gorgeous one, which is Honey Please. It's like this beautiful gold sort of color. Um, I'm more likely to reach for this than I am for this. So this one is going in the giveaway pile. Okay, so I don't want to bore you guys too much going through all of this stuff. So I'm going to continue this exercise for a little bit more until I have a whole big box of stuff to give away. And then um, I'm going to come back to you guys and we'll start assembling some of the vanity collections so that we can put everything I'm keeping away in a strategic, organized way. <laughs> I'm Marie Kondoing today. Whew. All right, let's see what we got in here. First things first, how amazing is this wrapped? Like nothing is going to be breaking these inserts. This is so well packaged. Um, just to make sure that nothing breaks during transit. Ugh, can I open this? Okay. Looks like we have... Oh, there's a little note. It says, happy organizing, lovely. That's so cute. All right. This is the important stuff. This is the instructions. I suck at building things, guys. Like, I really am not good. So I really need these instructions. So it looks like we have set one, two, three, and four. So they're the VC dividers, medium, set one, set two, set three, and set four. One, set two, set three, and set four. Okay, let's start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. Number one. So, pop that in there. So, this is set one. Very excited for this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set up drawer one and then we can get repacking it. Okay, so now that I have all the dividers set up and ready, you guys may remember my eyeshadow, like um, single eyeshadow drawer. It looks like a freaking hot mess, but I am going to finally be able to get all that organized. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop them all in the new inserts. God, you guys is that not way better I can actually see everything I've got all my individual eyeshadows and I've got all my shimmers and my glitters all in one place I can see all the colors oh my god this makes my life so much easier all right so now I'm gonna be building set number two um, this is really great for holding palettes and things like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and build that and then I'm gonna start putting some palettes away Okay, so now that this one is built, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of my palettes. I have so many eyeshadow palettes and honestly, I just chuck them into drawers and you know what it happens is I don't know where they are and then I lose them. So I'm gonna go ahead and chuck some of those in here. neater does this look oh my god so I can still see everything it's almost like a bookshelf where you can kind of pull things forward push them back to see what you've got because they still have a little bit of wiggle room inside the inserts um, and that way you can kind of see everything that you've got way easier oh so much better perfect beautiful now I'm building set number three 
Set number three is perfect for things like bronzers, highlighters, blushes, anything that's kind of small and round, it fits perfectly into this. You guys may also notice that the Vanity Collections inserts are perfectly designed to fit into Alex drawers, which makes my life so much easier because that's exactly what I have. The only thing I don't like about Alex drawers is the drawer itself doesn't pull all the way out, so you have to reach back a lot of the time, but you kind of get used to it. Okay, I've got the base done. Now I just have to fit these in here. Line them up and they should fall into place. There you go. See, it's pretty simple to build these. Easy as that. Now let's grab some bronzers, some blushes, some highlights, and we can start filling these babies up. gosh you guys is that not so much more satisfying and organized everything I can see it it's all on its little spot it's got this little cozy little home oh so much better Alrighty, so the last set that I have to build is set number four and this one is perfect for foundations I'm very excited I'm gonna pop all my foundations in here currently my foundations are in here and it is mm, well you can see it's not very organized so the foundations are actually currently in one of the smaller more shallow Alex drawers and then I'm gonna drop it down these ones are way thicker and taller so I will be able to stand them all upright in here the reason I'm also gonna put them here is because this doesn't get as much Sun as that side of my room so the sun comes in and it heats up these drawers quite a lot so i don't like to keep any like concealer liquid lipsticks lipsticks foundations you get the idea any cream products i don't like to put here um so i like to make sure that everything that will melt goes on this side where it's not in the sun okay so this is set number four i'm gonna go ahead and build this and then i'm so excited to be done and having everything organized Okay, so you guys might be able to see that these inserts are a lot taller and more boxy and they're a little bit wider in sort of the square. So this is going to allow me to pop all my foundations in here and they're going to sit up really nicely. Um, I think towards the back here I'm going to put all my unopened foundations and any foundations that I don't reach for all that often. And then I'm going to put my absolute favourite foundations towards the front because they're a lot easier to grab when they are readily available here. Perfect example is the Born This Way that I showed you guys earlier today. Um, I already have one of these open, so I'm going to pop this at the back because I won't be reaching for it for a little while um, until I run out of the one I've already opened. So in it goes. Now I really love these sealer foundations, but the only problem is that they are super, super full coverage. So I just don't reach for them every single day. I usually wear these on special occasions or to events. So I'm just going to pop these at the back because I don't need to reach for them too often. Now these foundations I have not opened yet so again I'm going to put them towards the back because I'm still yet to open them. I have tried some of these before, these are just backups as well. I'm thinking I might actually even reshuffle this at some stage, but hey, everything's out there. I can see it. It's way better than before. That's for sure. Whew, you guys, that was a mission and a half. I am freaking exhausted, but I am so happy that I did this. I got through everything that I wanted to get through. Everything is so much more organized. Thank you to Vanity Collections. I don't, I honestly don't know what I would do without vanity collections. They make my life so much easier. Um, I'll also show you guys the big box of goodies that I'm going to be giving away or donating. So I ended up putting it all in a big HelloFresh box. Um, this is everything so far. I still want to add a little bit more to it. I know what some of you are thinking and that is that that box of makeup is very wasteful. 
please trust me when I say that my mum is freaking awesome at giving these a good home. So a lot of this stuff gets donated to either charities or to fundraisers. My mum will make up like little hampers um, to use for like raffles and stuff for different charity events. My mum is involved in a lot of different charities and honestly like just being able to make up a little hamper of goodies that can be a raffle prize is really helpful. And it saves the charities having to go out and buy a hamper or anything like that. My auntie is also awesome and donates a lot of stuff to some charities and to good causes. Um, and then I am very good at making up giveaways for you guys. So some of that stuff, um, if I feel like it's something that you guys might be interested in, I will definitely make sure that I do a giveaway with it. If there's anything that you've actually seen me put in the giveaway box and you want it, um, maybe head over to my Instagram and just comment on my latest photo or something telling me that you've seen something that you like and I might think about doing a giveaway with it. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm starving. I'm exhausted. Like this is a bloody workout. Um, I think I'm done. I'm done for the day. I'm just, I'm done. <laughs> Before I leave you, let's just do a quick little recap on the work that I have done today. We have reorganized my single eyeshadows, my pigments and my glitters and they all look fantastic and so much more organized. We also did my bronzers and blushes and highlights so they all have a great new home. We also organized a new palette drawer for all of my shorter smaller palettes which looks amazing and they're all in one place and easy to reach for which I am so so happy about and then finally we did my foundations which was in much need of some organization so I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please give me a big thumbs up I also have another makeup organization video that I will leave over here for you if you're interested otherwise I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in my next video if not sooner <laughs>